There has been a ton of chatter on YouTube as of late about simply cutting 45 degrees. I mean, I'm not even thinking, uh, or not even anything fancy like compounds, just 45 degrees. And although the information I've seen is pretty good, uh, the main problem is it requires you to buy something. You've probably seen the Shaftman Miter Pro, a wonderful product, it does its job. Uh, I don't know how many have seen the Incra Miter Sled, it too is a wonderful piece for cutting miters. But I'm going to show you here today, you don't have to buy any of that stuff and get perfect 45s on your shopsmith. So this all really starts with the basics. I mean, I don't care how, how fancy of a, a product you buy to do these miters and what have you like we've seen. Uh, they won't even work unless your machine's been aligned. And in this case, we're talking about the, the table itself on your table saw and the miter gauge. Now, I know how projects a lot of times get in the way of of doing what we should do, and that's make our alignment uh, checks and adjustments on a regular basis. So we're going to assume that uh, you've got a quick project, you got to make some 45 degree cuts for a, a picture frame, whatever it might be, and uh, you just want to make sure your table set up so it'll cut those 45s accurately. So here today I'm going to show you just some quick uh, checks and adjustments for the table and the miter gauge, then I'll show you how Without having to buy anything extra, you can cut those nice 45s. We're going to check the table a couple ways. First this way, then this way, and actually a third way, this way. I'm going to start with the easy one. Check the table this way. So I typically prefer to do this with the disc sander, but you got to do it with a disc sander with no sandpaper on it. You know how the Sandpaper is just a series of hills and valleys. That would throw your, your check off. So a saw blade works just fine. It's probably a little more precision even than the disc sander. You just don't have as big a surface. You see I'm below the center line of the, 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 the blade itself. Take my machinist square. Place it right up. And look right down here big gap I've got right up here on the top. Simple fix. Loosen the table. Make sure your carriage is locked by the way. Mine was not. Once you get it set up, lock her into position. If you want to really get precise with this, do the old flashlight trick. Let me bring this camera in closer. Hold your square, fire up your flashlight. So that looks pretty good. We're gonna go with that. So now we're gonna make sure that we're uh, parallel, miter gauge, miter gauge slots are parallel to your saw blade. So that starts with first making sure the miter gauge is set up square. I'm starting with this set at zero. Run my square right in there. And this one looks beautiful. Can you see that from where you're at? That's what we're looking for right there. No gaps. So we can work from that now. Right out of your owner's manual. I'm just taking an extra 532nd Allen wrench, running it through the miter gauge. I don't know if you guys knew that you could do that. Bring it right up till it just touches the blade. You hear that? And I'm gonna lock in place. There's set screws down in there, 532nd. Lock it into position. Make sure I'm still touching. Do that with my quill. We're ready to check. So one final check, and it's important one too, it's the table alignment this way. This is where I will go ahead and still use the disc sander, because it's a quick check. 
and I need the larger surface area for this check. So disc sander on in its place, and a little bit different. Let me get my table raised, raised up here a little bit. Unlock the table, make it so I can drop it all the way down. Lock it back down. Then just slam, not slam, bring the table into the disc. Here's what we're looking for on this check. We're looking for any major gaps here and here. You can see that uh, a little closer. Table's touching the disc here and down at the bottom. And of course, the big check, you got to do the same thing on the opposite side. Here's the opposite side. And yes, we are touching. We are touching. If you were not touching, that's when you have to shim your table. You actually have shims that you put in between the, where the, uh, the bolts that hold the table onto the trunnion in. That's how you adjust that. And it's a one-time uh, uh, adjustment too. I mean, once you've shimmed it, it really can't change. And cutting 45s really is pretty important. I mean, uh, there's not a lot of stuff we do that doesn't require some kind of angle cutting. I know, uh, just as I look around my own shop space, how many 45s I've cut, take a look at this. I can reverse the camera here. These are some picture frames that I made for some uh, fairly expensive prints that I was gifted. So I wanted to do a really, really nice job on the joints themselves. And I think, uh, as you can see, I did do a pretty good job. Here's one up here. I mean, if you can do joints like this that are that tight, that clean, and uh, you'd probably be pretty happy with that. So now it boils down to making some 45 degree cuts and we'll check it. Here we go. Put them together and see what we get. Doesn't get much better than that. Pretty nice. I do highly recommend though, you do take some time and build yourself one of the best jigs uh, for your shopsmith, this right here. This is called a miter gauge extension with an adjustable stop block. If you want to see now these are made, go to another one of my uh, videos on YouTube, it's called uh, Build Your Own Cornhole Board uh, Game. Uh, about the middle of that video, it's about a 22 minute video, I show you exactly how to make this. But I'm telling you, this is the handiest jig I, uh, I've got in the shop. I use it more than any of the other ones, especially if I'm gonna do things like picture frames and I need uh, uh, multiple pieces exactly the same length. Real simple to use. It's a matter of attaching it right to your miter gauge. That's done with some neural knobs. You adjust your stop block to the length of material you want. Lock her down repetitively, the same length over and over and over. You've aligned your table, your miter gauge, I'll tell you right now, guaranteed, you'll have those perfect 45s that you've been looking for without having to buy anything extra. That's my big tip of the day. I'm Mike Young, and this is Today's Shopsmith. See you next time.